Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a subdomain to your domain in Google Domains. Now, this is gonna be a super quick video, um, so let's just go ahead and get right on into it here. Uh, we're at domains.google, and I'm gonna click on my domains up here to show a listing of all the domains that I have with Google Domains, and you can see I have quite the list, but uh, we'll be looking at the domain name thriftytony.com today. So I'm gonna click on that, and you got a lot of options here, but we are most interested in our DNS settings. So click on DNS over here. And this will work as long as you are using the Google domain servers, the Google domains name servers, I should say. Um, if you're using custom name servers like external to Google domains, then everything that I talk about from this point forward, you'll want to configure within the DNS settings of wherever that is. But because we're using the Google domains name servers, then we can make these changes here on this page. So if that makes sense, we will come down here to the bottom of the page to the custom resource records section. Now, this might look a little bit different based on for you, based on whatever you have set up at this point. But right now I just have um, a server at this IP address and uh, I'm set up to point Thrifty Tony to this IP address. So whenever somebody goes to the Thrifty Tony, they go to the server 67202-9222, okay? Um, I'm gonna post my subdomain name at that same server. It doesn't have to be the case. It could be a whole different server. It could be, you know, anywhere else. But um, just wanted to let you know that this is, uh, this is what we're gonna do in this example. So how do we add a subdomain? Well, the thing is, if you already have a www version of your website, then you technically already have a subdomain because www.thriftydonate.com is a subdomain. So the www part is the subdomain. Similarly, if we wanted to add a subdomain for hello.thriftytony.com, we would simply have to add an additional resource record uh, of type A and associate it with the IP address of the server that we wanna host that on. So um, it would be simply as filling out these two boxes right here, clicking on add, and now we have a subdomain for hello.thriftytony.com. Um, this, is, this is a simple tutorial, like I said, I won't go into detail about how to implement a website or any other application at that subdomain name. This is simply showing you how to create that subdomain on Google Domains. Um, but I do wanna also, in case you're interested, show you that there is multiple different ways to create a subdomain. So this is the easiest and recommended way to do it with the A record, but you can also add a C name record here. And the um, the way we would add a subdomain with the C name record is slightly different. So we would do something like, uh, what's another subdomain we can add like, um, it's not practicable, let's say, wanted to do tony.thriftytony.com. Instead of providing the IP address with a CNAME record, you would provide the domain name. So thrifty, thrifty, if I'm spelling that thrifty, thriftytony.com, hit add. And then now we have a subdomain with a CNAME record called tony.thriftytony.com. And the difference here, and and the reason I recommend doing an A record is because this is actually slight. This is actually slightly slower than an A record because you not only have to you have to make basically two requests when we do the DNS lookup. We have to do the DNS lookup for thriftytony.com to get that IP address, and then do the uh, the C name lookup for tony.thriftytony.com. So. Um, that's a very simple explanation, but that's basically how that works. So anyway, um, those are the two ways that you can add a subdomain in Google Domains. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.